what uh, what makes you want to do something like this? It's just in me, man. It's just what I like to do. Is it the challenge? The challenge, it's, absolutely. It's the planning of it, the execution of it. What uh, what what do you think? What what's on your mind when you're when you're at fifteen thousand feet? I'm just watching my instruments. I'm looking around for traffic, and I'm keeping track of what's going on. Got to stay alert. And and any fear ever uh, as far as uh, equipment failure? No, not once I'm aloft. My only fear with a powered parachute always is to take off in the wind. Yeah. It's not really a fear. It's just that's that's your critical time. That's when you have to be on your toes. Sure. I'm Joanna Thomas, the wife of Steve Thomas. And Joanna, how do you feel about this flight? Well, I'm nervous about it, and I'm just been married to him for 25 years, and I know he's brave and daring, and he takes on lots of challenges, so I'm kind of used to that, and just wonder what the next one's going to be. So, I'm ready for this one. I'm Steve Thomas. I'm a powered parachute pilot. Been flying approximately 13 years. I've got a little over 2,000 hours under my belt. Flown coast to coast, uh, flown different countries, and I really, really love powered parachutes. Now I've got the rocket, the machine behind me, and we're going to go up to, we're going to try to hit 20,000 feet and possibly a little higher. The, air, the aircraft that I'm using is a powered parachute, and it's a Airframes Unlimited USA 1B Hyperlite airframe. And I transferred my engine off of my ELSA, my propeller, and I swapped out wings. And it's a rocket, and that's its name, is the rocket. Five feet per minute. And you can exceed and it can get dangerous if you're not very, very careful. So it has really has to be piloted right. Uh, the plane weighs in at 253 pounds, has a five gallon fuel capacity. For your average powered parachute pilot, a flight like this would not be legal to just take off and do. Uh, our ceiling is 17,999 feet to be legal. And of course, I'm going to be breaking that barrier. So I had to contact flight services, and I had to call and contact my local ATC, which is Memphis Center. And I did this a month ago to find out what requirements they were going to make me do. And they said I'm good to go. And I called flight services last night, filed the flight plan. So far, we're good to go. I have to, in a few minutes here, I'm going to uh, call flight services again and activate our flight plan so they know where I'm at and they can steer traffic away from me. And they're going to give me a 10-mile radius or 10-mile uh, window to operate in. So, here we go. Part of the planning for this is the winds aloft, which are totally different than the winds down below. I'm looking at, uh, when I get up around 18,000 feet, the winds are going to be approximately 33 miles an hour. And if I make it up to 20 plus feet, I'm looking at over 40 mile an hour winds, which is good, real good today. Uh, normally they're a lot stronger. The temperatures up around 20,000 feet are going to be approximately 10 degrees below zero. Uh, Tourmaster has provided me with electric, electrified suit to wear. It's a motorcycle suit. It's full pants, full jacket, and gloves, and I have some electric socks, and that's going to keep myself warm while I'm up there. And it works real well. We did a test flight yesterday, and I actually had to turn the thing down at 13,000 feet. I was hot. So we should be all set to go now. So it's just about that time. I guess let's get it on.
just push the 5,000 foot mark.